The most powerful telescope in history looked into deep space and saw something it should not have seen. The James Webb Space Telescope revealed light that may not belong to our known universe. It started with a simple yellow dot in a far-off part of the sky. But that dot turned out to be the oldest galaxy ever recorded in the cosmos. It was born just 290 million years after the Big Bang, glowing too bright in the cold void. That galaxy was too massive, too evolved to exist so early in cosmic time. There wasn't supposed to be enough matter or time to create galaxies like that in the young universe. And yet, the telescope showed many more just like it floating in distant darkness. These galaxies are cosmic paradoxes, breaking every rule of modern cosmology. Each one is rewriting the laws of space, piece by piece. Some of these objects have no gas or dust in their swirling structures. They turned 100% of their mass into pure starlight, something never seen in the galaxy. According to current science, that is impossible, like a fire with no fuel in a night sky. So scientists are now asking, what if these aren't galaxies at all? Could they be from another dimension, another reality, or even a past version of our universe? Did Webb reveal structures leaking in from the multiverse? To understand, we must look at the Hubble sphere, the edge of what we can see in the expanding universe. At a certain distance, galaxies move faster than light, disappearing into deep space. The rule says we cannot see what moves faster than light speed. But Webb has picked up signals from those unreachable parts of the cosmos. That means light is coming from beyond, breaking our basic understanding of the universe's edge. It could mean we are seeing outside our universe, into something unknown in the void. Some now believe the Big Bang may not have been the true beginning of cosmic time. Maybe the early universe we think we see is actually something else hidden in the stars. Maybe we're looking at a fracture, a tear where another realm is crossing through space. Or maybe something older than our own universe is bleeding into this one with each glimpse. One of the strangest findings wasn't even light, but sound, a frequency in the deep darkness. It wasn't a pulsar or gravitational wave, but something new in the hum of space. This pulse repeated like a heartbeat, steady and measured in the cold cosmos. Some scientists call it the heartbeat beyond time, a whisper in the eternal void. It followed a mathematical pattern, almost like it was placed there to be found. Could it be a message, encoded not in words, but in the fabric of space? The telescope also found strong gravity in regions with no visible mass. These gravitational shadows seem to bend light and affect surrounding structures. It's not just dark matter, this is something new, a force pressing from outside the known universe. Scientists think it may be a collision, where another reality touches ours in the dark. Now the idea of a mirrored universe is returning, not as fiction, but as serious theory. Some evidence suggests galaxies are spinning in opposite directions, showing reversed physics. As if there is a twin universe, where time flows backwards, hiding just behind the cosmic veil. The James Webb Telescope might be catching glimpses of that shadow world. Then came the final shock, a light signature reappeared in a different corner of the sky. It had faded once, as expected, but came back like an echo for the universe. Same pattern, same fingerprint, but from a different time and place in deep space. It was a cosmic echo, light bouncing from something out there on the edge. Some say the light circled the curved universe, proving space is finite and round. Others say it hit something, something unknown that reflects light at the edge of reality. Whatever it was, it should not have been there in the dark far reaches. And yet, it returned, as if something out there noticed the looking. The telescope was built to reveal the beginning, not something beyond the beginning. But now it may have proved that we are not the only universe in the cosmos. The galaxies, the pulses, the mirrors, and the echoes all say the same thing. That the truth we believe may only be the edge of a deeper mystery. A Nobel-winning physicist finally spoke up, saying, This is not our universe. And if that's true, then where are we really in this great infinite darkness? Maybe we are drifting through a cosmic ocean, unaware of the massive forces beneath us. Maybe we are not alone, and maybe we are not even in the right universe. 
Now we must ask not just if something is out there, but if we are the thing that doesn't belong. And if the cosmos just blinked back, then it means something has seen us. Subscribe to our channel and thanks for watching.